My Facebook, well, my Instagram and or Facebook accounts have been cloned, not hacked, cloned. So somebody's copied my account and with my picture and my name, and then they go out and because who are my friends are public record, they've decided to friend, to friend you all and request, send you messages. Don't believe it. <laughs> They're my real social media accounts at this moment have a warning on them about the cloned account. If you go to the account and the warning is not there, it's not me. Please block it. Please report it. Thank you very much. All right. Now I'm going to message all my friends, some of whom I haven't talked to in a long time, which is kind of great actually. Um, but now they're all worried. So I'm going to message all of them and then maybe try to go to bed. It is about 11.30ish, Sunday, March 13th. Yesterday was the 12th, and I don't know if I said that on the video, so when I edit last week's vlog, I'm gonna have to put something in there to fix that. But anyway, um, checking the mail, because as per usual around here, when I checked at five o'clock last night, we didn't have any mail yet, although we should have been getting mail. It's either that or the mailman puts it in the wrong box. Oh, hey, guess what? We have mail. Anyway, I think we're gonna go for a walk and maybe just hang out around the house. I'm not sure exactly what all we're gonna do today, but I'll let you know and keep you posted. I'll be after back. we walked and ate lunch, instead of being couch potatoes, that we would go do some antiquing and thrifting. So we're at the garage sale warehouse in Lake Oswego and we're gonna go see what we can find. We're looking for um, books for our two great nephews, Paxton and Beckett, who are one and two, one and three, something like that. Anyway, constantly right now looking around at the price of regular unleaded gasoline these days. I don't know what it is by where you guys are, but where we are, it's somewhere between four fifty and five dollars a gallon for regular unleaded. Right, we're near Space Age Gas and it's 465. They seem to be one of the cheaper ones around. Anyway, all right, I'll be back. Monday morning, March 14th, 10.53 a.m. Uh, it is the day before my colonoscopy procedure, so it is prep day. So I am doing basically fasting today. <laughs> Taking my medicine starting later this afternoon to clear things out. If you don't know what a colonoscopy is, Google it. <laughs> anyway, um... It's not because anything is wrong. It's just a routine procedure that I'm having because, you know, I'm of a certain age. So, and it's not my first go round with this. So anyway, drinking my bone broth while I am editing the vlog and watching YouTube because that has to be done and best do it this morning before I start taking my prep because then I need to be next to the bathroom. So anyway, cheers. 
Do you hear that? It's rain, it's pouring outside. Anyway, I'm starving. It's colonoscopy day, which means I haven't had anything to eat or drink. Well, I haven't had anything to eat since Sunday night. I haven't had anything to drink now and since about 10.30 this morning, and I can't have until after the procedure's done. My appointment's at three, so anyway. I have a headache. I'm kind of hungry, <laughs> but I'm just keeping occupied. That's all I can do. I'll okay. be back. So we are headed off to my procedure in a minute. I was told to bring no valuables, just my ID and my insurance card, which means I have no jewelry on. I've even, it's one of the rare moments in almost 40 years I take my wedding ring off. Um, anyway, I have my ID, my insurance card. I do have a payment card just in case I need it and um, reading glasses and my asthma inhalers. I, it's like, they're not valuable, but they're must have things. And so anyway, yeah, so we'll head out in a bit and I'll be back. It is Wednesday, March 16th. I think tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. Um, it is 9.35 a.m. and we're gonna head out and run a couple errands, obviously, because we're in the car. And um, did I tell y'all how yesterday's procedure went? I don't even know. Um, colonoscopy went well, everything looks okay. No surprises. I did have two small polyps. Um, doctor doesn't think they're anything to be too concerned about, but they did take them out and look at the results in about a week, whether they were benign or not. And in any case, she took them out. And depending on whether they were benign or not, will depend on how soon I have to go back in for another one. I also forgot, because <laughs> it's been nine years since I had one, um, that how dehydrated you can get. And um, I did have one incident with, a, what was it? You throw a PV, is it called a PVC? Those of you out there who are medical professionals, uh, when they do the cardiac monitoring, just one. Um, they said more than likely because I was dehydrated. So, um, you know, and I don't really don't like sports drinks, but I forgot that I really should drink sports drinks when I'm doing these kind of things because, yeah, my husband usually is the one that has a huge problem with us. So, um, and he's due for his too coming up. I just need to get him to make an appointment. Um, so we're going to have to make sure we stock up on Gatorade or something. If you guys have any recommendations for electrolyte drinks or additives to water that are safe, healthy, and colonoscopy friendly, um, other than Gatorade or Pedialyte, let me know. Leave something in the comments down below. All right, we're going to go run some errands. I need to... I have a pair of leggings on today that have pockets. I am loving not carrying a handbag and having pants with pockets or jackets with inside pockets. Like it is a thing. I am loving it. I love my handbag collection. Don't get me wrong, but oh my gosh. And so I'm going to go back to Costco, which is where I got these. I'm going to see if they still have them and I'm going to pick up a couple more pair because yeah, they're really cool. And I have other things in my closet I could get rid of again. Um, I need to put these on. It's cloudy but bright. Y'all know what I mean. Um, I didn't purge everything because I gotta have clothes to wear. Society really frowns on walking around naked. <laughs> and um, hello, I live in the Pacific Northwest. It's not exactly warm right now. So, <laughs> so I hung on to some things that were a little bit too big but not massively too big. But now that I've found some other clothes that I like and that are comfortable, I can purge some of those things I hung on to. So I'm gonna do that. There are some things that are gigantically too big for me, but that I love. I have a few t-shirts, like my Kiss shirt, that's really like too big for me. But um, you know, it's I love it. I wear it around the house and I'm okay with it being too big. And yeah, anyway. All right, so we're gonna go do that. I need to pick up another plastic paint palette for some watercolor paints, and so I'll do that too and probably check on the P.O. box and all of that stuff. All right, 
let's go get it done. I'll be back. And yes, I'm in a much better mood. I'll be right, back. So obviously I'm back from errand running. <laughs> uh, anyway, I got everything done I needed to do. I've got more errands to do tomorrow morning, including mailing off our paperwork to get our taxes done, our income taxes. Um, I did clear off the table because I have things I want to, I need to, need to, not want to, need to, but also want to work on and that I need to film. Um, so I have that all cleared off. And um, the bits and pieces I've been using and the journals I've been working in are down there trying to finish those. Um, so anyway, I got that all done and I got some bits and bobs cleaned up. I need to empty the dryer because I think there's still clean laundry in the dryer. Um, we have the cover off of that. And this weekend, uh, my dad's gonna be here this weekend and he and Bob are gonna try to get the halogen light bulb out of there. I thought it was LED, it's not, it's halogen. And um, it must be soft white because it is very yellow. And we're gonna take it around to a few hardware and lighting stores and see if they have something that's more closer to daylight, you know, like those lights over there. Cause yellow, no, blue, yes. So anyway, all that being said, I think Bob has a late work schedule tonight and some more late night meetings. I don't know with what country, my guess is somewhere in Asia because usually when he has these late night meetings, it's Vietnam or Korea or something. But anyway, I think I'm gonna go for a walk. I think first we need to change out our positive affirmation words and our anxiety doll because these in a, uh, over a week and I think it's time for a change so let's see what we come up with shall we Should have done it Monday, trying to do it every Monday, but this week with the colonoscopy and everything, well, let's just say those couple of days went sideways. Um, not as sideways as they could have been. Thank you, thank you to Scarlett Graham, my counselor, and thank you to medication, but yeah, anyway. Morning, everybody. Clock in the car says 8.28, which means it's 9.28, because I haven't changed it yet. If you've been around a while, you know, I don't know without looking in the owner's manual, how to change the clock in the car, how to use cruise control in my car, despite the fact that I've had it for a really long time. Like, I just can't be bothered to learn and remember, I guess, like, that's just a thing. Call me lazy. Anyway, we are off this morning. It is Thursday morning, March 17th, I think, St. Patrick's Day, and we are off to run some errands this morning. I've got to go to the post office. I have to go pick up some stuff for dinner Friday. My dad's coming down for dinner and I think spending the night. So I need to pick up some things and um, I have two bags of donations in the back that have got to get dropped off because they're kind of in the way. I do think we're gonna have more donations coming up, um, but uh, in the meantime, I need to get the ones that I have out of the way. So anyway, you know, like how I did that in my whole like flabby chin, like anyway.
gosh, we had quite the adventurous trip to the airport to drop Rebecca off. The GPS sent us the back way. We now know where the National Guard part of the airport is at. That, yeah, anyway. It took us over an hour to get there, but it only took 30 minutes to get home. It's just about 6.30. Normally we'd be eating dinner right about now, but we're taking nut job, not Bob, the dog, <laughs> out for a walk, because we're dog sitting Lily for a few days until mommy and daddy get back on Monday. And yeah, so anyway, we'll go for a quick walk and then we'll go home and have dinner. Yeah, this ought to be interesting. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday morning, March 18th. Um, it is 8.18 a.m. I had to figure that out because no, I still haven't fixed the clock in the car yet. This is a normal daylight savings thing for me. Anyway, we are headed to a doctor's appointment. I got to check up for my six weeks of being on my new medication. So I've got to go take care of that this morning and hopefully get a refill. It's time to refill the pill bottle. So that's a thing. I put my hair up because it was in my way today. <laughs> um, Grand Dog is playing the in and out game, in and out the back door every two minutes. I don't know what she's doing. Are you coming in or not? Hold on. Yeah, she knows for sure. Anyway, I just got a text from my dad and although he's coming for dinner, um, it'll take him a couple hours to get here. So I have time maybe to film the artsy trio video because I think I finally know what I'm gonna do. Um, so I'm gonna go upstairs and do that and at least get it filmed. And then I can edit it when I edit this, edit this vlog. So that'll work. I already got today's daily drawings and stuff done. Um, I have to work on the word brain puzzles, but yeah, it's all good. I'm, I'm doing good today. All right, I'll be back. is here he's been here for a little bit we did some snacking and did some chatting um well, the lasagna's in the oven it's not quite done yet because it was frozen so they take a while anyway yeah it's all good he and bob are in the garage right now they are working on the barracuda i don't know what they're doing to the car but all right there Not the least bit excited to go walking. <laughs> anyway, it's about lunchtime. We've been up for a while. Dad's already home. Um, he and Bob got some work done on the Barracuda last night, as you saw, and um, had a nice late lay in for breakfast, relaxing coffee and all that stuff. And then after Dad left, we went to go run errands. Just a quick trip to the grocery store. Well, and a light bulb hunt again. So my art room light has a halogen bulb. It's a 118 millimeters J-type 150 watt light bulb. I want one that's daylight. 4,000 Kelvin or higher, I think is what they said. They evidently make one. I just can't find it. Nobody's got it. And the guy at the hardware store said, you know, I think you're the first person ever to come in and even ask. So... After we walk, 
after lunch or during lunch, I'm going to have to sit and do some more internet research and maybe even email Phillips and or Westinghouse directly and see where can I get this light bulb? Do you make this light bulb? Because yeah. All right, we're going to go walking. I'll be back. It is, what time is it? 9.08 p.m. on Saturday. So despite the fact that we didn't do a whole ton of stuff today, it's been a pretty good day, I think. And yeah, I've got crazy pants on my lap. I got some artwork done. We watched a couple of movies. We took the dog out for a nice long walk. And I think we have a plan, cross your fingers for fixing the yellow tinted halogen lamp in the ceiling fan in the art room. Cross your fingers. If we can get it to work and we can get the LED bulb and we want in there, which will require some rewiring, it'll cost about 20 bucks instead of about $200 to replace the whole light. I like 20 bucks better. I think, I think Mr. does too. Yeah, so I, I think, I think, and by we, I mean him. He's going to fix it for me. Yeah, I, I don't. My middle name is not Grace or Patience. You really don't want me p playing with power tools or uh, electric electric electricity is probably a bad idea. So. Electricity, dear. Yeah, yeah, it's probably a bad idea. Anyway, I hope you've all had a good week and that things are going well for you. And um, as always lately, um, I'm going to remind you, if you're struggling with any mental health issues, please seek professional health. There's no shame in that. Um, and um, do what you need to. Talk to people, get some help, any of those things. It's working for me. All right, that's it for right now. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys.